The Riverside Care Difference goes back to our mission in treating others the way we would treat the ones we love. A lot of times we are accepting of our practices and we challenged ourselves to do better when it comes to death and dying for our, our family members and, and those that we've served here at Patriots Colony. That's how we came up with the final farewell. The staff really gets to become friends with them and friends with the family. And when they passed away, there was nothing for the staff to kind of honor them or to have their own little farewell. We don't pretend that death has not happened. We find that it's a chance for the staff to stop and say something important happened. Somebody left our community, left this earth, and we need to acknowledge that before we continue going about our, our lives. We care about them. I know there are a couple of people that I say that I've adopted, like they're my, my grandparents. So we form a bond with the families, and that's our time as well, because people don't think because you work here that you're attached, but you are. We just felt like uh, this was a very appropriate way to, to say goodbye. Not only for mom, but also for us. We had a relationship with uh, Patriots Colony for about nine years. My wife and I had been married, would have been 70 years on June 10. She passed away after several strokes, but by the time we were ready for the final farewell, we had probably 15 to 20 staff members with us in the procession. We ring a bell, and that alerts the staff to the fact that we are gonna be starting our ceremony. The funeral directors bring the gurney out into the hallway, and we invite the family to follow along first, and then staff joins them. And we congregate outside, then a prayer is read. When we got to the entrance, the staff member read the final farewell, which I was most impressed with, and I have it here if you'd like for me to read it. May the eternal spirit of life and love support us all, all the, the days, days of our, of our fragile, fragile lives, lives, till the shadows lengthen and the evening comes and the busy world is hushed and the fever of life is over and our work is done. Then in mercy may we be given, be given a safe, safe lodging, lodging and a holy rest and peace at the last. Amen. And then the body is put into the hearse and the hearse drives away. And then this is an opportunity for our staff to give condolences to the family and an opportunity for the family to realize that this is a facility that cares and that they came in the front door with their loved one and we, they were welcomed and we are saying goodbye to them in a dignified manner going out the same door. This was about the only time where the emotions kind of grabbed us. It really showed a lot of respect for our family. It, it showed them that it's not just a job. There's a calling. There's a reason for being there. If I had to arrange my own thing, I couldn't have done that. It was just too perfect for what we needed at that time. It meant an awful lot to all of us in the family. The love that it showed, the care that my wife had gotten, it was all evident in the way it was done. To have somebody standing behind you, literally standing behind you as you take your loved one out, I think that shows people that's part of the Riverside care difference because you are treating them as if that was your family member, you're supporting them. If they need someone to hold their hand or if they need someone to hug, because we all hug them after and we stand out there with them as long as they need. When they're standing out there and the group is there for the final prayer, um, you see them smiling, you see them crying, you see them very appreciative for what we've done for them here. You need that release. You need that personally for yourself, for the families, for your family, because you take it home. It makes death and dying something that people are more free to speak about. 
And the more that we're willing to accept that and be open with it, the more that we can make sure that we're respecting the wishes of the individual and the families. It helps with the family that might be there at the time to know that their, their family member was appreciated and loved and cared for, and that the staff you know, really gets involved in their lives and they get to know the family members, they get to know the, the person who's passed away. The process that we go through now, the, the ceremonial aspect of it, uh, gives us that feeling that we've done the best we could.